Hi, this is a demonstration just to show my experience with setting up my DirecTV Genie HR34 and um, adding a 3 terabyte external drive to increase the recording capacity um, for the HR34 Genie. This is a website that DirecTV provides and I'll, I'll add this to the comments below uh, showing that they do offer this capability but they don't um, actually offer support officially and so it's it's kind of a funny situation, but uh, there are a lot of web pages out there showing how to do this in writing. I thought I'd just show what my experience is actually uh, setting it up on my system. So here's my HR34 Genie. Probably looks uh, something like yours. It's uh, uh, pulled out of my cabinet right now. And what I picked up to add the capacity is a rock store, three terabyte uh, external hard drive. It needs to have a eSATA connection to work. That's what uh, DirecTV points out. You can't use uh, Firewire, USB, or any other kind of connection. You have to use an eSATA cable to uh, connect to the, to the DVR. And so this is a, a unit I found, and uh, a 3 terabyte is pretty big. Um, the, what's in the, the uh, DirecTV Genie right now uh, is a 1 terabyte. If you were just to replace it or add a, a 1 terabyte external, um, you would be doing no good because one terabyte uh, that, that's in the, in the external hard drive actually replaces what's inside the Genie. So uh, when, when you plug in the external, it becomes the new hard drive. Uh, going with a, a one terabyte, uh, replacing a one terabyte, you get no increase. If you go with a two terabyte, you're going to be doubling, and obviously with a three terabyte, you're tripling uh, your recording capacity and so uh, I went with a three terabyte I figured if I'm going to do it I'm going to go ahead and do it uh, you know with something pretty big and uh, this was a unit that I kind of liked um, a few things I'll show you about the the rock store just that um, were attractive to me uh, one it's um, at, you know three terabytes a couple other thing it's a couple other things um, it's actually uh, made in America I don't know if you can read this here um, this is a, a US made unit um, this is actually the, the Rock Store uh, drive itself. Uh, it comes with a, a little stand so you can you know, put it, put it upright, kind of like this, if, if that's how your cabinet works and you want to store it. Um, it has uh, the power cord. It doesn't have a brick. It's actually uh, the, the brick is inside of the drive, so uh, you know makes it a little bit uh, cleaner in terms of uh, connecting to power cables and such. And then it comes with three different connection cables. We only need one of them, which is this one right here, which is the eSATA uh, connection. But it also, just uh, if you want it, it has a, a USB 3 connection. It also has, it, it comes with an 800 um, FireWire cord. So there it is. And, and this is kind of funny, but it, it actually comes with a little uh, messenger bag carrying case. You can, you can actually carry your drive around uh, in this little case that it came with, which I, I don't think I'll be using, but um, there it is anyway. So, um, and, and one thing I'll point out too is I, I didn't realize in the description, I got it from uh, Pro Vantage, and uh, I didn't realize, I guess, in the descriptions that it, 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 it comes with the eSATA cable. I, I bought a, a separate one, this little ribbon eSATA cable, and um, turns out I don't need it because uh, it, it already came with it in the box. So, um, my source for the, the uh, drive was uh, Pro Vantage. Um, I'll just show it to you right, right here. This is the unit I got. It's a G269N2-01 and um, I can't remember if this was exactly the price I paid but probably not very far off of it because um, this is pretty close to the time I uh, bought it so um, there you go. Um, anyway so we're gonna go ahead and set this up. Um, I'll uh, do what it tells me to do in terms of um, connecting to the to the uh, recorder using DirecTV's uh, page and again I'm posting this below so you have access to it and we'll show you how it turns out. Okay so we're back and I've uh, plugged in my uh, rock store uh, uh, drive. Um, I don't have it turned on yet. I have the eSATA uh, cable now plugged into the back of the drive but not plugged into the to the Genie yet and uh, the, what the, the directions tell me to do is to turn off my receiver by unplugging the power cord so we'll do that it says to actually unplug it don't just turn it off so I'm gonna unplug it like it says um, next look for the port on the back of your receiver labeled SATA and <clears throat> want to connect the eSATA hard drive with an eSATA cable make sure the cable is firmly connected on both ends so here we go our SATA cable and we're gonna look for the SATA port
Okay, so now it is uh, actually connected. A little dark back there, but uh, you get the point. It's pretty easy. Uh, next thing it tells me to do is to turn on the SATA hard drive and give it a, a few seconds to spin up. So now I'm going to turn this on. Light comes on, that's good. Okay. Um, and then it says to plug in the power cord on the receiver. And you can see it's, maybe you can hear it, it's uh, spinning up right now. Okay. So now I'm going to plug in the, the DVR again. Alright, so it's going to wake up. Um, now the, the, the idea on this is once you plug in, like I say, the, the hard drive, this one is going to replace the one that's in there. And so the, the contents that I've had on my DVR, if I've recorded anything, um, I think they stay within the, the box. My understanding is they won't transfer to the new drive, and so this will look like a brand new system in terms of my DVR recordings. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work with it, um, regards to my settings that have been on my uh, DVR uh, historically, whether it you know carries over my account information, whether it uh, carries over my recording preferences, my subscriptions, and so forth. Uh, but we'll we'll go through this, and I'll I'll tell you what I find out. So I'm going to put it on pause, and we'll come back. Uh, one thing we're seeing right now is that um, as the the system is restarting, it goes through a full startup. Um, just assume that that's uh, normal. This is uh, just what I'm seeing right now, and it's going to go through a few different screens, I believe, as it starts up, like it normally would do. So um, a few screen changes. I'll, I'll keep you updated as to how it goes. Uh, here's another screen that uh, we're seeing right now. It's saying it's formatting the storage device. And this was a question I had because I wasn't sure if my, um, uh, if my hard drive would have to be formatted into a new format before plugging it into the DVR, and apparently that's not the case. So it seems like the DVR is taking care of formatting my, my new hard drive, uh, which is good news. So uh, it's also going through... Uh, the settings to connect with the satellite and so forth and uh, again I'll keep you updated. Okay we're back again and now I'm looking at the screen that has come on um, after having installed my drive and my uh, onto my DVR. Uh, I get a message saying direct whole home DVR service has been authorized on your account. This allows you to share your recorded program with other receivers on your network. So it almost looks like it's uh, thinking this is a brand new System. We're going to see how how well it uh, incorporates my existing setup uh, into my into my uh, uh, or my, my my new drive into my setup. So we'll see. I'm going to click continue. Um, yeah, it's uh, set sharing op options for this location. Press select on an option to change it. Tip playlist sharing can be changed at any time in settings under the whole home. So share playlist, yes, and allow deletion from all rooms. Okay, sure. Yes. I'm going to go through my... There we go. Um, yes. And done. So here's my playlist now. And, and as I had mentioned earlier, when I, once we set up the system with the new drive... All my playlist is erased. It's it's not really gone. It's actually still in that DVR. But now that I'm using the the new drive as my uh, memory storage device, um, it's a clean slate. I have 100% free space, and it's almost like a new system. So, um, kind of as expected, we have to set up some new uh, settings to to get this system started. The last thing I'll point out is that there is. Um, and I have to wait for this uh, that little screen to go away. Um, the, the recordings that I had scheduled to have uh, happen in the future uh, have been cleared out. All my subscriptions are gone, uh, and all my to-do list items are gone. So uh, really, when you do uh, add an external drive, be ready to, to have to reprogram your DVR for future recordings and subscriptions, and also uh, you know uh, consider the fact that you're going to lose what you already had recorded. But uh, with three times the capacity, it might be worth it. And... Um, uh, was really quite easy. So good luck, everybody.